Meet Paul. He handles communications for a nonprofit called Organic Adventures. For him, fundraising is all about mailings, dinners, charity concerts, and email campaigns. Today, for instance, he sent out a message to his email list of supporters. He announced an exciting new project and asked for a donation. Then he sat back, sipped a double macchiato, and waited. And waited. First he got a few expected email bounces. Then came the requests to remove names from his list. By the end of the day, well, he had 12 people responding with contributions. He'd have to wait a while to do this again, because he didn't want to bother those who have responded, nor those who haven't. Now, one floor up, Gina also handles communications at her nonprofit, Platypus Protectors, and she loves her supporters. Why? Because they drive most of her online campaigns for her. You see, Gina set up a root funding page that she announced in an email sent out to her supporters. She also used her newsletter and her blog. She explained that in just minutes, they could set up their own personalized campaign pages, adding their voices to help the cause. Then she sat back with her chai latte and watched. Over the course of the day, the new campaigns launched one by one. Each campaigner set their own personal goals, like Greg here. He broadcast it to folks like his twin cousins, Mark and Mick, his old college roommate, Tony, Angela from accounting, and 847 other friends, relatives, and colleagues, the folks he stays connected with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and his blog. So Gina reached 847 people, just through Greg, and there are lots of Gregs. So donations started rolling in that very same day, but then it got so exciting that Gina spilled her chai. You see, some of Greg's friends liked the idea. To help him out, they branched off their own campaign pages from his. They sent out messages to their own contacts. It went viral. Now, because of people like Greg and his friends, Gina had thousands of people helping each other reach their goals. Root funding diversified Gina's contributor base with people from all walks of life. And best of all, Gina had spent no time, money, or effort to contact any of Greg's friends. Except now, of course, to thank them. So why did they contribute? Because Greg is someone they trust, asking for help to support a great cause. They were happy to save a platypus, but even happier to help Greg reach his goal. Root Funding. Grassroots fundraising begins with you.